Hey everybody, how you all doing? Are you here okay? In your neck of the woods? What up? What up? Man as a respect man. And your girl, Debbie from Donga Yard. You not pretty? Welcome you all to the Jamaican kitchen. Welcome to the, to the Jamaican cooking journey y'all, okay? And today, welcome to this here, our Jamaican Goated soup video, yes, Jamaican goat head soup. Now, I want to clarify something for you. I don't know who I've ever done this on YouTube, but I'm gonna do it right here and now. This here is goat head feet, the tripe, and everybody that's what we use to make the soup. And if you notice, I've just said goat head soup. Now, you have manish water. Manish water is from the ram, goat, head, and other parts just like this. This is not the ram goat. The ram goat is the man goat. You know man goat? The, the male goat is a man. And that is why it's called manish water water it has a different taste it has a different flavor because the ram boat according to what people say they pee on themselves so from little kids coming up little small boats that's kids once the boat is a male it starts to have this this rank odor it has that odor coming up so that's why it is called ram boat and when you use the meat from that goat, the ram, it is called manish water. Now this is not a ram goat, it is a female goat, so it's goat and soup. Okay, y'all? Now, I have here two and a half pounds. I have some, this is a part of the feed cut. This is, try to get in some, this is a little burn part when I burn and scrape, we want a little part of this in to flavor up the soup. Okay, this is some other tribe, Ma or the book are some they have different names. And we this is I think this is like I have some of the hoof here. You're supposed to have some of that. All those parts from the head, the hoofs, and the belly. Okay, y'all. Now I've been soaking this in some vinegar water for about two and a half hours. But I'm still gonna put another half a cup of vinegar on it. And now to this, I'm gonna pour myself on it some hot water. I've poured the hot water, so I'm gonna just swirl around with my spoon. If you notice, it has a different, cleaner, prettier look when you pour the hot water, okay? Right. So we're gonna pour it off right over here, inside our hay here, colander. We're pouring it off, the vinegar and the hot water. You soak it first. I hope you're all in, in some plain vinegar, white distilled vinegar, with just regular tap water for about two and a half hours. After that, you still proceed to put another half cup of vinegar or a cup depending on the amount you have. This is two and a half pounds here. And pour some hot water on it. Now it is properly cleansed. And we're gonna put it inside our pot. And I am using the pressure method. Some people proceed to cook it. If pressure cooker is for making things cook faster, why not use it? This, I use the pressure method a lot. When you are in like cooking, cookery, chefing, doing um, um, bulk cooking, you need to use a pressure cooker. You don't have time to be boiling and boiling, no, no. Okay, so the, to this here, we're gonna add, just we're not salting it to taste the dish, we're gonna add a little bit of a salt just to pressure it with that little you know okay now to this we are going to smash three large pegs of garlic okay if you are not using the pressure cooker you do just the same as what i do and put it in your pot but you know it's going to take a mighty long time to get it to cook okay so i'm using here my pressure cooker so just a little touch of salt okay three large pegs of garlic reasonable sized chunk of um, ginger smashed and 
I'm going to pour. You need to get your kettles going. I'm going to pour on. Get right in camera, girl. Just enough water to cover the meat. We're not going to use a lot. We're just going to use enough. Get right in. Get them a shot. Just enough to cover the surface of the, 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 the stuff that is in there, which is the goated. Get them a shot. Look at the color of the goated inside the pot, y'all. Okay? Now, we're going to nurture our flame hot. We're setting it to be cooked, be softened. But mind you, you're not going to cook it too soft because when we, when we get it cooked to a certain point, we've got to come and we've got to put in our little thingy, thingy, thingy to get it come together to make it into a soup. So we're just living it this process now to get the meat soft instead of having it cooking forever, forever, forever. We're using the pressure method, okay? We're going to cover hot. Remember, hot water every time. We're going to cover up our cooker and... This should take no time to start pressuring because the water is, is all hot, it's boiled. So within 15 minutes time, we should have this goat head here, meat, um, at the desired texture of which we want it. When we come back in the next section, you'll see what we'll put in there, how we're going to get it to come to a soup. Okay, y'all? 